Well hello again and welcome to another video. This video is going to be a little bit different again and, uh, and what we're going to do in this video is we're going to edit a, an image or two images that have been actually sent in to me um, by someone that's uh, been asking me how to remove various objects from uh, from a photograph. So this, this person has been out taking some photographs of some jet skis and doing some rather interesting tricks upside down and flipping around but there's things in the, in the image that they want to get rid of so um, we're going to have a go at uh, getting rid of those on this video today. Now if you like these videos leave a comment down below give us a thumbs up and over there just in that corner down there down there somewhere um, please do subscribe to our channel. But back to these videos. So this, this lady sent me uh, two images in. Um, as I said before, they're both of a jet skier and uh, she really wants a little bit of help trying to um, remove some of the, the things around the jet ski that are, um, that are just getting in the way. And um, you know, she's using Photoshop, really needs to understand a little bit more about the clone tool. So um, that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So let's not miss about me anymore. Let's uh, turn around and, and get down and get on this, uh, get on this computer. Now, here's, here's our first image of this, uh, of this jet ski. And it's, uh, it's, as you can say, it's a great image. Um, it's, it's completely upside down and the guy's just flipping it over. It's jumped over a little wake there, but we've got a sign in the background that, that we want to get rid of. And we want to get rid of this uh, buoy here because it's just getting in the way. So first of all, let's have a, let's have a bit of a zoom in. Let's get a bit of a zoom into Photoshop there. Let's pan across. So I'm just zooming in with the control and plus key. I'm using a Mac tonight. There we go. And uh, first thing we're going to do, there's a couple of tools we can use here. The, the, the first one is this healing tool. Um, it's always worth a go. If we, if we just click on heal and click on con make sure that says context aware, then um, we can just got to come down here, pick a rather large brush and just blob out the boy. Bowie boy, whatever we want to call it. And that's awful, isn't it? Control Z, let's take that away. And uh, and let's go and find our, um... oh, not eraser, this one, clone stamp tool. So what we want to do is we're just going to clone this out. Now, a little bit tricky perhaps because we've got all these water splashes. So we need to do a little bit of, be rather careful with this. Now we have got this shape, luckily, that kind of goes around the boy. Now we, we might try and keep a little bit of that. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to the right and we're going to press the option key down. Alt key if you're on a Windows computer. And you'll notice the cursor changes to like a little tiny crosshair. Let go, you get your brush back, drop it down, you get your crosshair. So we're going to put that round about on the water line away from the boy. And that's the area that is going to get cloned into our image. And we can see that already it's starting to move across. So let's just go for it in there. Okay, not perfect, but don't worry about that just yet. And we're just going to go for another area now, just above it perhaps, over here. And we're just going to just have a bit of a click around and into that space. I'm going to, just going to move my brush a little bit because I want to get some some other, other water artifacts in there. Let's, let's come over to here perhaps and then just kind of come down. If not the easiest of things to do is cloning in certain situations. This isn't too bad. And now I need to make that edge look a bit more a bit more with it. So I'm gonna go up there, I'm gonna grab a bit of that. I'm gonna go put a bit of that in there. In there perhaps. That's not too bad. Now I'm just gonna have a random click around here because at the moment you can see a bit of a pattern starting to appear. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of random clicking and random cloning just to get rid a little bit. Next thing, um, maybe a little bit more in there actually. I think we need a little bit more of a thing in the middle. So I'm gonna to go to this area here and just put that in there, that area there, just kind of put it next to it. We don't want it to look like a pattern. If you if you just replicate in one go, you'll, you'll get this obvious pattern that's, uh, that's starting to appear. Underneath there, um, Let's just go here and let's just go across there, around there a little bit, just where that, just where that boy was. And that's not too bad if we just zoom out a little bit. We can still see a little bit of yellow actually in that area there. 
let's just get rid there we go there so that's the boy gone and obviously we, it's, it's strange how that boy was just in occupying its own little space there but um now let's go over here and have a look at this this other this other thing here now we've got here a yamaha sign we're going to do exactly the same this time what i'm going to do is um just want to see where that, there's a little splash of water there where's that coming from I can't see exactly where it's coming from at all, actually. It just seems to be a splash of water in space. Not a problem. We can leave that there. So what we're going to do is just the same here. Um, we're going to click up in this area here. Nice big brush. And we're going to brush away all our things there that we don't want. Don't want that water down there. Don't want that thing there. We've got a little bit just on the top of the sand. Not perfect by any chance, but I'll just make that so it's a bit easier. And then a little bit more to get rid of, just in that middle area there. And yeah, I mean, we've cloned the trees a little bit um, and that's, that's kind of fine. I just want to make them so they don't look the same. Maybe just a couple of little things there. I think we'll get away with that actually. Once again, this, this, this is a bit of a strange artifact here with this water just sort of spraying out of nowhere, but it was there, so we'll, we'll kind of leave it. Now, that looks okay. However, as with water, there is a reflection. So what we're going to do is we're going to come across here and we're just going to see if we can get rid of that reflection in the water. So it's exactly the same technique. A mouse to one side a little bit. Um, down, the, down on the option key and then... Oh dear, what's that? That's sand, isn't it? So you've got to be really careful here that you're just not... You have to go very carefully just so you don't see we've got a pattern starting to develop there which is fine we will get rid of that momentarily and into that area there we'll do the same across there Now we've got a couple of vertical stripes there. We, we'll just do the same one there. We'll just, oops. There. Okay, let's have a zoom out. So there we go. We've got rid of the, the bulk of that. And the last thing I would always do is I would always just go for a bit of a crop. So we want to get the round in there and I'm going to crop it to there. So we get the, that kind of shape. A little bit there image crop let's have a look at that oh a bit big there you go so there's there's that image um, as you can see we've got we've got rid of the booby on the right hand side and we've got rid of the signage on the left hand side it, it's not perfect you'd spend a little bit more time doing that but um it kind of shows you the concept of what we do we're using that clone tool we're using the, the, the option key or the alt key for the windows to put a marker the thing we want to clone from and then we click around to, to go to the two area. Now, let's, uh, let's look at another image. So we, do, we were sent two images. The second image looks a bit like this. Very similar images. A few more things to get rid of here. So we've got, we've got two buoys there. We've got a buoy just behind him and a red one and a couple of black ones. Let's start with the ones on the right hand side. So let's start on the right and move to the left. So let's... Let's zoom in a little, let's zoom out to there. This one's a little bit soft actually, so that's, that should be a bit, a bit okay. I'll notice that the, the horizon doesn't look straight, it may be, um, but at the moment it looks a bit wonky. Um, I'm gonna try my uh, healing tool, see if that works again here. It may not do, but we'll give it a go. I'm living for this to work in this situation. Go. Actually, that's not bad. 
that's not bad for the healing tool. So let's leave that. And I'm just going to have a really quick tidy up on um, on the clone, just just in that area there. So let's mark, put a marker up there. Just want to get in there and get rid of that tiny little bit of artifact. And that's that's done a good job actually. Quite happy with that. Let's go for the second one in in the just behind the chap. Now obviously there's lots of other processing you'd do in this picture as well. You wouldn't just um, clone and, and call it a day. You'd, you'd do a bit of sharpening. You'd probably change some, uh, you know, a bit of dodging and burning, a bit of lightness here and there. Um, but I'm just literally showing you this this technique of um, of removal items. So I'm going to throw a bit of spot healing in there and see if we can get rid of that. Go. Once again. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. So we'll keep that. Um, just one little area there I just want to tidy up with the with clone tool. And it's that little line there. I just want to soften it out a little bit. There we go. So that's two gone. And then I'm going to come down for these, these big fellas down here. Should we try it again? Let's try that. Let's try that. Um, let's try that spot healing tool again right nice big brush right round the object fill it all in let go and boom uh, not as good not as good because it's left a very large soft area there um, how noticeable is that let's zoom out a little bit you get away with that to be fair at, at this resolution um, Well, we should really tidy it up. I'm going to tidy. I'm just going to leave that as it is, but I'm going to tidy it up with the clone tool. So you can use these tools together. Um, and what we're going to do is go for a slightly bigger brush, and we're just going to clone in some some water from elsewhere, just to just to make it look like it's not totally softened out. Now, of course, the danger here is you're going to get a, a pattern from the water. Um, which is fine, um, but we just don't like just getting that in there. Got there we go. It's not great. It's not brilliant, and I'm going to do a little bit of a crop over this area in a minute anyway. So it is meant to be splashy, splashy water. Let's come back out. Let's do a crop. Might get away with not doing the little red one. I'd probably go for a crop like that. Image crop. Let's have a little bit of a zoom. There we go. So there's our second image. And, you know, for a really quick um, exercise, I think that's worked quite well. And I'm really impressed with the, the context aware removal. Now we've, there's a bit of a buoy, a uh, little sign in the background there. You can, you can probably have the same go, a go, a go at that in the same way. In fact, let's have a really quick look at that and see if we can do the sign also. Um, let's try context aware healing, shall we? Spot healing, context aware is selected at the top. Quick square around it. Bang, that didn't work at all. But so in that situation, we'd, use, we'd be back to our um, our clone tool and we just clone literally clone out that area there and so I'm just doing that we've got a little bit of repetition in those dots there so we just need to get rid of some of them so a little bit of random clicking down here and there we go so we've got, we've got two dots two dots two dots so once again I'm just going to reduce that size there I'm going to take those from there put them in there I'm going to take those from there put it in there I'll get rid of the big ones, and there we go. So that's how you would remove objects from an image that um, that you don't want there. And it, it, it really simple as that. I mean, obviously, if you've got a lot of detail um, and a lot of uh, a bit of a very busy background, it can be a bit more difficult. But in the simplest of terms, that's how simple it is to do. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Once again, if you have, please subscribe down there, thumbs up, 
comments, do all that, all that kind of stuff, engage with us. It'd be great to, uh, to uh, engage with you and give, have some feedback on our videos. Until next time, thank you very much for watching and um, yeah, see you next time.